Hey everybody, thanks for stopping in. It's PJ from Wisconsin Air Gunners. Tonight we're going to be talking about two different products that uh, one we've used for a little over a month now and one we've had for a couple of days. Uh, first, the Blackhawk GoPro Scope Mount from Air Gunners of Egypt. Uh, nice unit. We're getting along with it pretty well. Um, and then something we've added, and hopefully it will make the results of that scope mount better, is the Eagle Vision 12 millimeter GoPro lens replacement. Uh, it's a direct screw in replacement of the uh, stock GoPro lens and it transfers your wide angle lens into a more narrowly focused lens, basically allowing you to get a better field of view through the scope. So uh, hang on and we'll tell you what we found about these things. The Blackhawk GoPro mount is a 3D printed affair. The main components include scope rings, the GoPro camera housing, and then the prism housing which ties it all together. The unit gets mounted to your scope loosely, then you set the prism housing to the scope and adjust the GoPro so that you're getting clear vision down the scope and the final step is to tighten the scope rings themselves. Like anything you're attaching to a scope it does take some fiddling around to get it just right. But as far as the unit goes the 3D print quality is good, the unit feels durable, the prism is clear and all the parts fit together the way they should. It's not a machined aluminum unit, but you're not paying machined aluminum unit prices. One of the things that I think a lot of us here in the United States are concerned about when making a purchase like this is if I'm sending money out of the country, am I actually going to get a product in return? I can say that all of my interactions with the guys at Air Gunners of Egypt were professional and that they shipped what they promised they would in what I would consider to be record time. The upside of the unit is that it doesn't require any modification of your GoPro. The downside of the unit is that in order to get your video to fill the frame you have to stretch it out in software which is going to lower your resolution. In from the UK comes this nifty lens from Eagle Vision. It replaces the standard GoPro lens with one that is more suited to, well, less suited to wide angle anyway. Installing the lens doesn't require any direct modification of the camera. It does require that you open the lens housing, but you're not actually making any modification other than swapping out a part. In order to install the new lens, what you have to do is pull forward on the lens cover and then rotate it counterclockwise and it will come free. Once the lens cover is off, you simply unscrew the stock GoPro lens and then screw in the new lens.
So righty tighty lefty loosey works. To give you an idea of how good the Eagle Vision lens works in the camera, take a look at these two clips. Side by side, I think you can tell which one has the new lens. Part of the process of setting up the lens is fine tuning the focus. The clip of this chipmunk was done before I had that finalized. Here's that clip in slow motion. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than with the old lens. Fine tuning the focus isn't a difficult process, but it is putsy. It involves taking the camera out of the mount, taking the lens cover off, making tiny adjustments by turning the lens either clockwise or counterclockwise, getting it roughly focused, then putting it back in, looking at the crosshairs. By the way, I recommend using an iPad or something like that. Stream your GoPro out so that you can actually see it on a big screen. Look at the details, look for the focus, adjust it, put it back in, check it, take it out, adjust it, put it back in, and in this way, going back and forth, you can arrive where you have what you think is the best focus for the new lens in the camera. I also used the wide setting as opposed to the linear or super wide setting. That gave me the best results. The lighting isn't super great on this clip as it was in the woods on a very overcast day, but this is at 6 power on my Optizon EVX scope. And here's that clip again in slow motion. So no shots taken here. Wrong season, wrong rifle. But this should give you an idea of the clarity I'm seeing using the Air Gunners of Egypt Blackhawk GoPro scope mount along with the Eagle Vision 12 millimeter GoPro lens. Both of these are set up to fit the GoPro 5, 6, and 7 models. So if you already have that camera, it's a pretty cost-effective way to get a decent scope cam set up for your gun. Anybody who's tried to get good scope cam footage pretty quickly realizes that it's a lot harder than it looks to get footage that anybody else would want to look at. So far the results we've gotten from this combo have been favorable and the whole thing can be had for less than $200 if you already have a GoPro. If you're looking for something to mount a GoPro to a scope, the Air Gunners of Egypt unit is worth taking a look at. I haven't seen any problems with their 3D printing and the prism is clear and lets light pass through in the appropriate direction. If you want to mount a GoPro but are concerned about replacing the lens, the Eagle Vision unit is non-destructive, meaning all you have to do is unscrew the new lens and put in your old lens and you're back to the beginning. The price for the lens as of this filming was 34 pounds, which when you consider how good the images look once you install it and focus it, is a steal. If I were going to start all over again, I would definitely focus on changing my lens and then get the mount sorted. While it's certainly attractive to be able to film with your GoPro without any modifications, I think the results speak for themselves. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day, and get out there and shoot safe. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.